Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. In this small video, you are going to see how you can use the new Lockout from the Android Studio. Let's get started. So here, as you can see, I'm having a simple Jetpack Compose project here. I've launched this app. So if you go to Lockout here, you will see simply the Lockout. So this won't be activated by default, I don't think so, in the new Android Studios. So what you go, you go to the setting here, and I think you go to advanced setting, and use, or simply here you can search for the Lockout. So here you will say to Lockout, there is this add filter, not this one, this one, enable new Lockout to window. It is enabled by default, so you have to check. Otherwise you will see the previous one. So here, as you can see, you don't have a lot of things here. Previously you have this filter part and also another part here you can use. So all of them are here in one thing. And this is auto-completed, so you can see many things. So here it is kind of, querying the locker, right? So you give it queries and he will respond. So first of all, I just want to mention something. You can go here to the configure locker format. By default, it is standard here. So you will see many stuff. You see the time, I think the PID, the app it is running, I think, the locker or the tag here. This is whether it is verbose error, warning or information, and the actual message. But with compact view, okay, you can see this part, the time, the thing, and the other message. Well, you can do that, you can modify a few so you can show whatever you want. By default, if it is standard or compact, the format or the date type, if you want only the time, this is awesome. You can show the tag, otherwise you can stop showing the tag. You can increase the width, this is crucial. Sometimes I don't need that much space. Same thing for the package name, you can increase the space. Like this is completely flexible. Show repeated packages name, so it will be like, for example, this one, if, if they are Two things in the same row, it will show only one. Process ID, I don't use process ID that much, thread ID, thread ID if you are debugging some, some I don't know, some cruelty and stuff and thread stuff, you can use them. But like I'm talking here about the flexibility that this is giving. So by default, I use compact and you can here specify the compact part as you like. So I will use compact here. And from here I can query. So first of all, by, by default, it will be package mine. So this will show only the events coming from this package, which is this one, YouTube Room Database, okay? If you want another package, you can simply put that package. Let's say, let me just show you another package here, let me do the standard view. Okay, I don't know where it is, packages, package mine. You will see only this one. You can change that, of course, as you like. So as I said, it is querying. So you put query here and you expect the result. Let's say you want to query any text, simply put the text here. If you want some system, something, you can do that. By the way, there is this two messages, process ended and process started. We didn't have that before. So kind of telling you from where the lock had started and where it's ended for the cycle of the app, when you close it or when you use it, all right? So that's it for this, that new thing. We didn't have that before. And let me just show you back. Let's say you want this call, you can simply search for call here and it will filter this. As you can see, you can search for anything here. But there is many cool stuff here. First of all, you can see the level. Let's say you want the level, like this is the level. The level, which is previously error, info, verbose, word, debug, or anything. If you want just error, it will show you just the errors here for your package. As you can see, previously we had a special menu for that, but now it's all in the same page. And you can do control space to see everything here. There is this tag, you can search by the tag, like. Let me show you. The tag is simply, well, here I'm searching for an empty tag. Tag is simply that. The tag is this one. Sometimes you do it like that. You do it like that. Check it. We do log.d, for example, and you have specific tag. Okay, so you can search by this tag. Hello, if you run the app, I will do click like I have this on purpose. I will throw an exception so the app will crash. This will keep history, right? You can have history. Let me show you. You can have something called age. With this age, you can search like previous thing. For example, give me the locker that happened before 30 seconds. It will give you from the first 30 seconds. If you want from two days, you can have from two days. Imagine that. If you want two hours, it will give you two hours and so on. Like here, if you put this part, as you can see, it will give you this from one past day, three hours, five minutes, 30 seconds. Like that way you have really specific and customizable way to search for specific event that happened during your debugging of the app. So this is really crucial. 
I know that the error happened previously in one minute, so I know it will be in one minute. It is three minutes, you will see three minutes, and so on. Three minutes and what hours. So this is one thing. And for the tag, I told you about the tag. Okay, let's search for the tag. The tag here, it will be tag, like that. And let me crash the app. If I press hello, you will see the hello. But you won't see the error, because I'm searching for only the tag. If I delete that, I can search for the level error. I will see just the errors. I just crash the app on purpose. Okay, and you will see here process end, right? So there is many other cool way, as I said, the level, the name, this is the name for this filter. But here is the thing, you can favorite things. Well, before that, let me just have a specific tag, as I said, and I will be using that tag a lot in my app. I can do this favorite part. I can click on it and so can use this query. And believe it or not, you have all the history for the previous logs. For example, here is some things I worked on, barcode scanner, work order classification fragment and so on. Okay, I should be this, some debugging uh, things previously. So you can have this sort of history so you can go back to, or you can have this favorite. Like this is a really good way. Another one is the is. If you go to here put the is, there is two things here only in the is. There is the crash and stack trace, okay? If you are searching for just crashes, you will see only crashes. And this is also a good feature, even if you don't have this error. And I think it will also show us if we do stack trace. Yeah, exactly, because this is Java stack trace. Yeah, that would work also. And the final one, which is the naming. So let's say I have something that's called crash, and I won't always have this filter of crash. What I can do is name it like that. All errors, let me just put everything together. And now what you have is you have this all error filter by default here. Well, you can simply remove parts from here if you do the X here, right? And you have this filter with its name, rather than if emerging searching for a specific filter. You won't be reading all the thing. You can have only one name and it will work just fine. So this is pretty it for all its features. You can, as you can see, control space and you can see other stuff like this message or process. Like the message is simply, you can write the message directly. Like we are talking about this message, of course, but I can search for it without anything. If I want something, if I want hello, I can search for the hello. Yeah, it's not crash. That's why not it is showing exactly here is the hello for the debug. Yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you covered almost everything. All the things uh, like previous, you can take a screenshot and everything. And you can have multiple, I don't know how we can call it, multiple lockout. Yeah, you can have multiple lockout. You can always split. If you want more, more split, you can split more. So I don't know for some usages, you can search for two different things at the same time. Let's say apply filter here and apply filter here. That would work. Fine, I don't think it's this crash. You can search for it from here. How you can do that in this small screen, I don't know. But you have this option if you have wider screen, you can use this option also. Yeah, this is it for this video. I hope this video was understandable and benefit you saw somehow. Yeah, this is it. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always and see you in the next videos. Bye.